Hey everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video, but I promise you I've been working on something and planning something in the meantime, which I'm really excited to share with you now. Right up front, quick disclaimer, I'm not actually gonna be knitting in this video or showing you any knitting. I'm just gonna be talking about my plans and maybe doing some attempting at sketching. Uh, so if you're not interested in that, maybe wait until next week when I'll hopefully post an actual knitting video. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I have been as you know, knitting a lot of patterns from the Victorian time. And two of the patterns that I've knit were actually from one particular book, which is The Art of Knitting by the Butterick Publishing Company. It was published in 1892. You can get the PDF online. I just really felt like printing it, so I got it printed into a book. And as I was looking at the two patterns for the stockings and the purse as I was knitting, I realized that this book actually contains uh, patterns for nearly every type of garment that a woman would wear in 1892. So what I want to do is I want to create an entire outfit with items primarily knit from patterns in this book. And if I can't knit them, then I'll hand sew them and then there'll probably be a few items that I have to purchase to complete the whole outfit. But that's the idea. So I'm hoping to show you guys over the next few weeks and videos all of the historical knitting that I'm going to be doing, a little bit of sewing, and then hopefully the completed outfit. So to give you a better idea of all the different layers and all the different pieces I'll be showing you guys, I've got the book here and then also I got a sketchbook so I'll be sketching out the different layers and showing you all the different pieces of what I'm hoping to make over the next few weeks. A disclaimer right at the top here is that I am definitely not a sketch artist so I need a little bit of extra help and I found an image online that I traced through the paper to form the basis of the body for the sketch that I was going to be doing and then I based the head off of an image that I found from an 1890s fashion catalog. Now that the base of the sketch is done, I'm going to draw on the foundation layer for this project and that includes the stockings and the underwear or Victorian combinations. The stockings I actually completed already in a previous video and you can watch that to see how I knit that from the 1892 pattern book. And I decided to knit the combinations because there was a a list of instructions or a set of instructions on how to knit combinations in the same pattern book that I mentioned before. The picture is actually doesn't correspond to the picture in the pattern book but from reading it it seemed to correspond pretty closely to what it should look like based on what the pattern says. For the next layer, I'm going to sketch out the base sketch once again, tracing out the body and then basing the head off of the 1890s fashion catalog face that I found. And this layer will include the uh, corset, the knitted skirt or a warm petticoat, and a bustle. The only item in this layer that I'll actually be knitting will be the petticoat or the knitted skirt. Uh, the other items I'll probably sew myself, like the bustle, and buy, like the corset. While I would like to hand make every item, preferably knit every item in this outfit, there are some things that uh, just probably would be better sewn, like the bustle, and probably better sewn by someone else, like the corset. At this point in the outfit, I've knit three items, the stockings, the combinations, and the petticoat. I've sewn one, the bustle, and I've bought one, the corset. As far as I know, I'm now done with the foundational garments, and it's time to think about the actual dress that I'll wear over it. As a fun reference, I took out my September 1890 copy of the Delineator magazine, which is a women's fashion magazine. And as I was looking through the patterns, because it's actually a sewing pattern book and fashions and silhouettes at the time, I was really excited to see that it matches really closely with the McCall's pattern that I had picked up, which is designed by Angela Clayton, who is another YouTuber who I really love to follow. I also took out my copy of an 1890s Peterson's magazine and in the fashion plate, I think that's what it's called, the leftmost illustration looks a lot like the dress that I'm going to attempt to sew. Um, the silhouette looks really similar and I absolutely love the blue color so when I'm going to try to sew it myself, I think I'm going to try to uh, get a lot of inspiration from this particular illustration. Oh 
Okay, I think I've done my closest approximation of a sketch of what I'm hoping to sew for the dress layer. This doesn't involve any knitting for this layer, but this next layer will. So this is going to be the outer accessories to go on top of the sewn dress. I'm hoping that these will include a knitted cape, a pair of knitted mittens, and a knitted purse. I've actually already knitted this purse once before, but I'm hoping to remake it in colors that will match the dress and the other accessories that I'll be making. For the colors I'm thinking, a white silver cape color, white mittens, and a blue purse. I also added a few traced finishing touches to my sketches and then I was completely finished. We start with the foundational layer, which is the stockings and the knit combinations. The next layer on top of that is the knit petticoat, the sewn bustle pad, and then the bought corset. On top of that, I'll be sewing the dress from the McCall's pattern that Angela Clayton designed with inspiration from the Peterson's fashion magazine. And then I'll knit three accessories to go on top of that, cape, mittens, and purse. And that does it for my project plan. So now you all know all of the pieces that I'm planning to knit and sew over the next coming few weeks. And hopefully I'll be coming out with quite a few videos about them. So if you'd like to uh, keep up to date with the new videos that I'll be putting out, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you liked what you saw, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I'm really glad that you all joined me and watched this video. I really hope to see you next time. Oh, and if you're interested, I'll also link uh, below the PDF for the knitting patterns that I referenced, which is that art of knitting, and then also the 1890s fashion magazine that I used to reference to sketch the uh, head that I've been doing. So thank you so much again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>